Hello everybody, in today's episode we're gonna jet the bike right there. It's got a Millerelli Horizontal engine on it. We're gonna jet it guys, I'll show you how to do it. I'll explain some of the jets you need to buy and what the point of it is. Let's get started right away guys. Okay guys, so we got a Minarelli Horizontal engine on here. Don't worry about what it says on it. It's the same engine that you would have on a Yamaha Jog 50 cc's, right? So what we did here is we installed a Polini Big Bore Kit 70 cc's onto this thing. Uh, so it's got tons of power now, but you have to jet it now. So I have a video where I installed the kit, talked about chamfering and all this stuff. And now I'm gonna talk about jetting. Okay guys, so first things first, there is the carb. We took the bottom of it off. So the jet was right in here like this on this particular engine. See, and we just screwed it out with a screwdriver. So there it is. Um, I had to take the seat out and there's a little cover here just to get to the air box to get the air box off. And then I was able to kind of bend this up and pull it out without taking any of this stuff off. Pretty easy, no big deal. Okay, so on the top of this, see there is a little number, 80. So this jet is an 80. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up a couple sizes uh, to a bigger jet, which means the little hole inside of there will be bigger. It will let in more fuel. Because what ends up happening on these scooters when you put a big bore kit on is they run lean, uh, which means they're not getting enough fuel. It might run perfect, but it's not getting enough fuel, which means it's not getting enough oil and your piston can get all scratched up and run hot and stuff because it's not getting lubricated right. So what you have to do is you have to increase the amount of fuel that the scooter gets in order to uh, get more oil basically um, so it can run cool and all that wonderful stuff. So in this particular situation, we're going from 50 cc's to 70 cc's on this Polini kit. And they basically tell you anywhere between eight to 10% bigger of a jet. So if your jet is 80, you're gonna put on 10% more of that would be 88. You can just ask your iPhone for the math. Hey Google, what's 80 plus 10%? The answer is 88. Okay guys, so this is what we purchased here. See, here's all the sizes it comes with. So it goes right from 80 up to 86. So we're gonna put on an 88, which in here, see they look like this, and they all have little numbers on them as you can see. So there is the 88 right there. Let's pull it out. Okay, so there they are. And I mean, that little hole inside, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it is a little bit bigger. Um, these are a tiny bit different actually. Um, I talked to the store, scootertuning.ca, and they guaranteed me that that is the right one. So you would, you know, screw it in um, like that, right? And they said it wouldn't make a difference that it's a little bit shorter. So we're going to basically put that on right now, guys. And um, I'll show you how to tell if, if you're running too rich or too lean. We're going to do all those tests once we get this installed. So remember, anytime you're doing any kind of tests, you have to do it with the airbox on whatever setup you're going to have that's how you test it so in our case we got mild aftermarket exhaust stock uh airbox i like having the star air stock airbox because it makes the scooter last so we got a stock airbox and we have that 70 cc big bore kit polini so uh, it calls for um 10 percent more so we're gonna put this on and put everything together and i'll show you what's next okay so there we are see we just screw it right in there no big deal and so this is your main jet and then the other jet some of them have another one you can change some you can't is like an idle jet so that one when you're doing the 70 cc's you just don't worry about that one it's good the way it is we're going to tighten that with a screwdriver and you know if you had some kind of crazy big bore kit 120 cc's or something you would have to go a lot bigger you'll have to find call the store and They'll give you a, a you know like a guide of what you should put on but in our case it's this and most 70 cc kits would require about that uh, you'll know if it's running too rich because it won't run good but you definitely don't want it running too lean because then you, your your kit's only going to last you a year 
two years max before it fries. Okay, and just put that nice and tight. Not too tight, you don't wanna break anything. Okay, and then just this cover goes on. Um, so that just goes on there and you just tighten everything up and that's that. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay guys, we got that on. So now that one back screw there, I had to use one of these. Otherwise you might have to pull more stuff off. So I didn't wanna do that, but, but that worked pretty good. Okay, now the air box has to go on. See, if you do any kind of testing with the air box off, it's gonna mess everything up because it's gonna be getting a way more air with the air box off. So now it'll run lean again because it's not going to be getting enough fuel probably we'll see we got to put the air box on take it for a drive and see how it runs if, if we can't tune it to, to run good then it's running too rich because 10 percent is quite a bit okay uh let's put the air box on and give it a try okay guys the air box is on the seat is on everything's good to go so now the hardest thing about jetting is the fact that if it doesn't run good now you basically have to take everything out and change the jet and try again and you got to keep doing it till you get a break so i'm gonna drive it with the 88 jet and if it runs perfect the way it is then that's perfect but if it's not running good if it's uh like choking or sputtering or something chances are it's running too rich so it's getting too much fuel i'll show you how to do a test for that to see if it's running too rich or if it's running too lean meaning not enough fuel Okay, I'm gonna start it up, boys. And girls, you never know. Okay, before you can do any kind of test, this thing's got to fully warm up. You can even try driving it, but give it a good five minutes of warming up. Okay guys, so I drove it around, warmed it up. I'm just adjusting the carb. I'll show you how I set it up. Okay guys, so on the carburetor, see there's two adjustments on it. One is this one here, and the other one is that one. So I got the little screw, that's the, the slow idle jet adjustment. I got that one about a turn and a half back, anywhere between half a turn back, and two turns is where you want to play around with that. And then this one here, I basically put it back as far as it'll go. And then I screwed it in until it got just at the right idle for me. And that's pretty much that for adjusting this thing. And believe it or not, guys, this thing actually runs perfect. So it's set up perfect. So if yours wasn't running good, a test that you could do is you could pull the air box off and you could go for a drive with the airbox off just down the street if it runs way way better see that means you're getting more air now that means that your scooter was running rich it was getting too much fuel and then taking the airbox off gives it a little bit more air uh, you know making it run better so then you would go down a jet and put your airbox box back on right so in our case it worked out perfect so that's a test and if it's running too lean what you do is you turn your choke on a little bit if it starts to run better with the choke on then you know it's running too lean that's how that kind of works but if it's running too lean it can seem like it's running perfect but it is running too lean so it's always better to run rich than it is to run lean oh yeah and make sure you watch my video on how to install a big borket properly chamfer the edges inside of it so it can last you 10 20 years have a good day